Note Caddy, the gold standard for automated opponent notes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Note Caddy as quickly as possible. We'll download a default Note Caddy note pack, apply the Note Caddy HUD at a table, then we'll go over the Note Caddy HUD and features. Let's get started. The first time you use Note Caddy, the Note Caddy setup wizard will run. Inside of Holden Manager, click Apps, then Enable Note Caddy if you don't see the setup wizard. In the setup wizard, click next, then select a note pack. I'm going to select default definitions and NCE ultimate cache, which stands for Note Caddy Edge. Click next, then Note Caddy will start downloading these two note packs. Click OK, then Note Caddy will auto detect your PokerStars note file. Click next. Now you can choose to create a temporary RAM drive on your PC. We recommend you check this option because pop-ups with NoteCaddy notes and graphs will load faster. You can always turn this option off later in the NoteCaddy data settings if, if you're experiencing performance issues. Go ahead and click Next, then Finish. If you've already gone through the setup wizard and want to install a different note pack, click the Start tab, then Manage My Ultimate Packs and you can install other note packs now. Once note packs are installed, note caddy will start processing the stats and definitions. Depending on your computer and database size, this can take a while. Now that note caddy notes have been created, we can apply the note caddy HUD to our tables. We can do this two ways. The easiest is when a table is open, click the HUD text here. Then select the note caddy HUD. For this example, we are choosing the Edge Cache 2 HUD. Once we select the Note Caddy HUD, go back into this menu and select Set Profile as Default for this table type. And every time this table is open, we will now be using this Note Caddy HUD. You can also assign HUDs to tables in HUD, HUD Options, Profile Select. After installing a Note Caddy package, a new folder named Note Caddy coaching pack files is placed on your desktop. This folder contains any documentation that comes with the package. For the NoCaddy Edge Ultimate Cache Pack that we just installed, there's a PDF file named Edge Cache HUDs Layout. If we view this file, we can see what the stats mean for this HUD. We can also view the HUD in the replayer and click around on the stats to view the pop-ups associated with this HUD. Badges are icons designed to appear when a player shows an exploitable leak. The NoCaddy Edge Ultimate Cache Pack uses many badges. We can look in our NoCaddy Coaching Pack Files folder to find documentation related to the badges offered in this package. Some of the badges I find useful here are this Fold versus Half Pot Seabet badge. We can see here that this player is folding to half pot CBET 73% of the time, which is much too high. Now the same player also has the blind versus blind fold to steal badge. This player is not defending enough in the blinds, which can be a costly leak. Note Caddy has the capability to display notes as text showing hand ranges that have gone to showdown. As an example, we can see what hands a player has overbet the river with here. Notes can also display different types of graphs. Caddy Spark graphs, which easily show how often a player has been strong or weak for a particular note. Caddy Scatter graphs display dots on the X and Y axis that correlate to bet sizes and strength. Note Caddy Heat Maps display preflop hands on a graph table that show how often a player has shown certain hands for a note. Automated badges and graphs do not display on PokerStars live tables to comply with their terms of service. However, PokerStars does allow you to manually assign badges to players, and text notes generated from NoteCaddy are able to be displayed at PokerStars live tables. At its core, NoteCaddy lets you make better opponent-specific decisions, and if you're not using NoteCaddy, you're leaving money at the table. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the tables.